as we all know, the North Carolina General Assembly enacted North Carolina General Statute 14-306.4, which bans the operation of electronic machines that conduct sweepstakes to the use of an entertaining display. The North Carolina Supreme Court interpreted this statute back in 2012 and ruled that effective January 3rd, 2013, North Carolina General Statute 14-306.4, which deals with video sweepstakes, is constitutional and therefore enforceable. On January 17th of 2013, it provided guidance and advice uh, to the four sheriffs in my district along with the 16 police chiefs regarding the enforcement of video sweepstakes. Prosecutors have a duty in this state to advise law enforcement pursuant to the North Carolina Constitution. Since January 2013, there's been numerous court actions taken by video sweepstakes companies seeking injunctive relief and, re and review of the alleged new sweepstakes technology. As these cases have worked their way through the system, prosecutorial and law enforcement agencies have begun to actively pursue enforcement of these statutes. The DA's office has been in contact with the Onslow County Sheriff's Office and other agencies in this district in order to first determine where and how many video sweepstakes ex business exist in this jurisdiction. The Onslow County Sheriff's Office, Jacksonville Police Department, and other agencies have also been in contact with numerous video sweepstake businesses in Onslow County in order to determine the nature of these operations and to encourage compliance with the statutes. I have informed law enforcement that after investigation by law enforcement, the DA's office reviewed the evidence on a case-by-case -case basis to determine whether or not the elements of the statutes have been violated and if we can prove these cases beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, of course, law enforcement along with the DA's office, we have limited resources. We must also make uh, difficult uh, decisions on how these resources can be allocated because enforcement of all criminal statutes takes a significant amount of time, manpower, and resources. And of course, although violent felonies remain the top priority of prosecutors and law enforcement in this district, this office has worked with and will continue to work with law enforcement to enforce the criminal laws involving video sweepstakes. What I've also provided to, to the press is actually a summary of the statutes regarding video sweepstakes and the gambling statutes of this state. Um, it's a complicated area of the law. But I uh, provided copies to the sheriff uh, previously, to law enforcement previously. I've updated it somewhat, um, but I've also provided that to the press. because I've got numerous calls from the press uh, the last uh, few weeks concerning um, what the video sweepstakes laws actually mean. So I provided that to you. One thing I would note, that which I provided to you, this is an issue that's not just brand new. Back in 1915, the North Carolina Supreme Court addressed the issue of lotteries at that time. Of course, this is not exactly what we have here today, but again, it was a, a form of gambling at that time. And the North Carolina Supreme Court ruled in 1950, no sooner is a lottery defined and the definition applied to a given state of facts than the ingenuity of man is at work to evolve some scheme of evasion, which, in the, which is within <laughs> the mischief, but quite within the letter of definition. The court will inquire not into the name, but into the game, however skillfully disguised in order to ascertain if it is prohibited or not. I mean, that's the North Carolina Supreme Court from 1915. The same thing is, is true now. As evidenced by this quote by the North Carolina Supreme Court, the issues facing law enforcement and prosecutors in enforcement and gambling laws of this state are challenging. This is particularly true due to the rapidly changing technology involving sweep states and gambling. However, law enforcement and the district attorney's office will enforce the video sweepstakes law. Compliance with the law of North Carolina is the goal. With continuing investigation by law enforcement, this enforcement will be sooner rather than later. We'll turn it to the sheriff right now for a few comments. And I'll take questions as well. Good morning. What well, seems to be a real innocent uh, game of chance called gambling uh, is not as innocent as you may think. The major in charge of narcotics just spoke with a neighbor who moved some machines in from over in Carter County to Onslow County and just recently, if I'm not badly mistaken, as last night, had a customer lose $3,200. These are uh, ha habitual forming. They have no restraints when it comes to having the person entrapped and some people we've seen it in the old western days where 
people lose their farms, their mines, and everything else. Well, gambling, when we talk about losing their minds, people do lose their minds and they lose value of everything relating to their life, thinking they're going to win or have that ship come in that they've been putting the money in for, and it doesn't happen. Uh, this sheriff's office stands with Mr. Ernie Lee. Mr. Ernie Lee stands with this sheriff's office in that a law of this state uh, is a law and we're going to enforce it. Uh, we're going to be investigating it. We're going to be diligent about doing it. And this is to give notice to those who have these machines that uh, don't, don't take the position of we didn't know. You know, if you don't, you need to watch the media or you need to read your, read your local paper. We're going to enforce these laws, and we're going to start today. Thank you.